Chief Beckerman. Philip, how are you this afternoon? I'm good in yourself. Well, I'm quite adamant that I want to speak with somebody in regards to my request for a full investigation into the Falmouth Police Department. And the fact is that my children were taken off from my grandfather's founded land back in 2007, which is Barnstable County Fairgrounds. And I don't appreciate the fact that I've been denied the right to my records and reports and request for investigation into the officers that frivolously kidnapped my daughter off of my grandfather's founded land. Now, with that being said, I already know that one of the officers has been formally released of duty due to the fact that he stole from the Falmouth Police Department. But that also heightens my fact that y'all are covering, aiding and abetting in crimes like the chief of police has been there for 25 plus years. He was there in 2007, he's still there today. I have confirmation email that they received my request and I also have a recorded conversation of your chief of police of Falmouth Police Department telling me January 2021 that good luck with getting the information and asked me what court I'd be filing in and told me again, good luck. Now, with that being said, I believe that was an intimidation tactic, not for me to fall forward with the negligence case and frivolous acts, which would have been USC 218, 241, okay? So with that being said, USC 242, 1983 comes into play, whereas your officers from Barnstable County, Falmouth Police Department, I have all case records from my attorney, the court, and all proceedings that your police department did wrong. They violated my rights. They had an abandonment faxed warrant. They lied in the reports and said that I was drinking alcohol. They lied, 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 lied. And I have all of the evidence and proof. I brought it to Falmouth Police Department. I also brought it here to Cape Cod and I shared it with the public and with the media. And I want to know what Barnstable County is going to do to make this right. My grandfather founded Barnstable County, Massachusetts, Thomas Howes. There is no reason why my family should have been kidnapped off from that land or at all. There's no reason why my family should have been subjected to sex trafficking and human trafficking through the carnival that comes to your town. And I want to know why all of these police departments in Barnstable County are hiding, aiding, and abetting. I have sent a copy of the statement of complaint to each and every town administrator as well as police department. And not one of you people have come forward to try to talk to me, to reminate the fact, and see the evidence that I have. But So I had no choice but to share it on YouTube. That I had a daughter taken from me through Falmouth Police Department under a false and fictitious report of abandonment. They came and took her from my family, all from my grandfather's family founded land. That is wrong. It was a faxed warrant of abandonment from the state of Vermont. They never even showed it to me, but they took my daughter, told me they were going to wait there at the fairgrounds for me to return from your drunk driver that killed my wheel man that hauled the Ferris wheel in 2007. I was attending his funeral when your officers came and kidnapped my daughter and said that she was abandoned. She was with my family and this has destroyed my family. I want records and I want remination. I want a solution to this problem. I want to know why my family was destroyed by Falmouth Police Department. I want to know why nobody has contacted me. I want to know why you all have laughed at me. Not only is my grandfather Thomas Prince and grandmother Mary Burr, but my grandfather, Governor Thomas Howes, Prince, all of them, founders, governors, why did you destroy my family? Why did you kidnap my daughter? Those are the answers that I want and I want a solution so that I can move on and forward with my life that's been destroyed as well as my children's lives and my grandchildren that don't have the right to see their grandmother because of your frivolous acts of police departments. What do you have to say about that? Do you know what it would be like to live without your children and your grandchildren in your life? Thomas, I, I don't have anything to say on the matter. Um, the commission isn't the police department. Um, it doesn't I, matter. You all are aware of it. You all are aware of it. It doesn't matter. You all are aware of it. And due to that, knowing that you're all part of council and you have not taken initiative 
to try to solve the issue before it hits a federal court case? I would think that you would think more of your community than that because it's the tax dollars that are coming out of your community that are going to pay for this court case. And these residents and citizens of Cape Cod are not going to be happy when they realize that their tax dollars are paying for the wrong doings of your police department and knowing that the town administrating office of Barnstable County is very well aware. Everybody has a copy of the email, sir, that was sent out. I put it on YouTube. I sent it to the mail. I sent it to Washington, D.C., and I sent it to the Boston Globe as well as Fox 35 and every channel news. Okay, everybody knows the frivolous act that took hit place here on Cape Cod. Now, I want to know what you're going to do to help. I just called your chief. I was chief just wondering what, what is it that I can do to help you today? I'm more than happy to help you. I want answers. I want that uh, that captain that's on duty right now that I just spoke with. He hung up on me. He was very nasty, and I already shared that to social media, YouTube. He knew he was being recorded. He was very nasty sure. to me. Okay, the fact is, I requested the copies of the reports. I have the reports from my attorney and the courthouse. I want the copies from Falmouth. I want to see the difference in reports. I want to see what they hid from the court. I want to see the I pictures. Smith, I personally cannot provide you that report because I do not work for the Falmouth Police. You I work for the administrating office, so you can request that. That can do that for you. Yeah, please do that. Make sure it's done, please. And you make sure that they check that email and forward it on to your office so that you know who to address in this. Because the whole media has been addressing the citizens and residents of Cape Cod. And it's not going to stop well, being and, posted. And what is your name? My name is Katie Howes. Katie Howes. Okay, Katie. I'm, I was just wondering, so I know I know who to... Yeah, and uh, the case was under... I proved the case was fictitious and false. And the fact is that this police department and the Cape Cod, Barnstable County, should have already remedied the situation when I called last year and the years before that. It doesn't have to come to a lawsuit, but what it can come to is a public apology and help me remedy the fact that my family was destroyed and help bring us back together. That's what I'm asking for. I want justice. And I, I want my I, family. I hear, I, hear your, I hear your frustration, Ms. House. I'm, I'm going to try my best to help you. Again, I don't work for the Falmouth Police, but I can do my very best to get you in touch with somebody that can help you get the resolution that you want. Please. I can't promise anything. All I can do is do my very best to get you I'm going to give you my email address. Department. Okay, and I just want to make it very clear. I have all reason to believe and none to doubt that the reason why they targeted my family is because my grandfather being Governor Prince and my other grandfather being the founder of Barnstable County, Thomas Howes. We have been plagued, we have been antagonized, we have been abused and tortured for the past many years because of this since 2007, July 19th of 2007. I have been defamed. I have lost everything that I've had and worked for my whole in life. I used to be the one putting the smiles on faces out there at Barnstable County Fairgrounds because my road husband owned that show. And that was all sex trafficking as well. I never wanted to be there. I had to be there. And I tried to reach out then and nobody would help us. And so I'm still reaching out today because I'm aware that you all have Barnstable County Fairgrounds scheduled to be there through Rockwell Amusements again this year of 2022. And I think it's about time that people start thinking about what's really happening here. All that counterfeit money that comes into town, we all know where it comes from. It comes from the carnival. We all know that the carnival is the hub of sex trafficking and human trafficking and the drugs that come in and out of there. Okay? I'm aware of it. I had to live that life and I'm not proud of it. I was made to live that life. And that's where they took my child from. That's not fair to me. And that's not fair to my children. And all I ask is that somebody from Barnstable County, the head of, my grandfather was the head of this county back in 1600s. He's the one that founded it. And I want somebody that's in charge of it now to contact me and explain to me and apologize to me for what's happened. That's all I'm asking. Again, 
I'm going to reach out to them. Uh, give me a little bit of time to do so, and I'll ask that they reach out to you. Thank you kindly. You're very welcome. Have a great weekend.